Well, hello everyone and welcome back. So as you see here, this is my homemade vacuum system with a four inch corrugated hose. Now I made it out of a 55 gallon uh, barrel and converted it to actually vacuum instead of blow leaves. And today what we're gonna be testing is how well does this four inch corrugated hose for drain works on vacuuming all these wood chips that went through a shredder, all this loose dirt that I uh, shoveled out and a lot of these wet wet soggy leaves that went through my lawnmower and were piled up for a while now before we get started i do want to let you know that we are going to be doing a video if you guys are interested with four of these full-size vacs and um there's already hookups here and i already did this before but if you guys are interested we're going to be showing you how it works with four vacuums and one big corrugated hose because everybody knows vacuums are awesome you can kind of suck up dirts and dirt and small rocks and stuff like that but obviously if you hook it up to a four inch hose for one vacuum not enough airflow and it doesn't do anything so this does work very well with four and then we're going to be doing four of those and one of these and if you guys are interested and you can stay tuned. I will be talking about this little contraption that I made. This is a um, on-the-go backpack um, gas-powered leaf blower uh, vacuum system, which actually works very, very cool. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned to the videos that are coming up and we'll get there. Now, and also I'm going to be testing them with this um, in, uh, water... Uh, a vacuum meter now this one is actually very unique i bought this on amazon and i tried looking for different ones to try to make my own they are kind of expensive i think it's like 69 or 70 dollars with tax it's like 75 bucks but i couldn't find anything else they do sell small vacuums uh for like 10 bucks but it was not this one it measures it in what inches of water okay and uh, that's very important for me so i'm going to be measuring how much those are doing of inches of water they you know that uh, a vacuum lift versus this and that over there so if you guys are interested in this this is very nice to have i made my own out of a regular vacuum meter and uh, out of a hot glued and made my cone which i can show you that later down the road um i will be putting a video i made my own for ten dollars but um the, the the meters is different so it's still you can read it but it's small increments over here you can kind of make a just you can see how much actually it how much more uh, or less one vacuum does than the other. So let's get to it and start vacuuming these bad boys.
All right, everyone, so there we have it. Now, I know it doesn't work perfect, and I know that this is not really a practical uh, build for most people, but for me, I built it because I am gonna have to dig uh, near my uh, my barn into the ground where the, there's water lines and I don't want to use my backhoe and damage the pipes as I'm digging so I'm trying to make the fastest biggest vacuum that I can have where I can dig and vacuum up all the dirt um, using a pressure washer and the, the hose so but as you can see this is what came out here um, there was a lot of dirt in here and uh, a lot of the rocks got sucked up now as you could notice some of the rocks would not make it all the way up it seems like for some reason today the leaf blower is not working at its uh, max. If you notice, I close off the cap, uh, the you know the, the the hose, the corrugated hose, and it would increase, and then it would drop back down really low. So I'm not sure why it's doing that, but either way, it did work better before. It had no problem sucking up these rocks, no problem sucking up those uh, bricks. Um, one of them did get stuck because it's a little bit too big and you know they get cockeyed and they get stuck in the pipe but other than that all this mulch it you know sucks it up pretty good um, not like you would have if you have one of those big leaf collection systems those are very big um, vacuums but this is something that I built for myself that I can carry um, that little one over there those that one's actually really cool the backpack uh, um, vacuum and uh, pretty much what we're using it for is to clean gutters and uh, makes it a little bit easier um, anyway so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this now if you guys are interested I will be talking about that a little bit and I'm gonna be doing a video about those and uh, we're gonna be using that meter that uh, uh, water lift meter and um, you can see how much which one has a better lift and which one actually has uh, does a better job and I'll leave that in the link down below in the description if you guys are interested to check it out on Amazon it's I think uh, yeah about 75 bucks with tax and everything so anyway have a good one guys bye